How would you guys like to go on a totally colorful trip to see how crayons like me are made? Sounds awesome, Tip. Yeah, let's go. But don't forget your shades, because where I come from, the colors are out of sight. The first thing you need to know is that Crayola crayons are made from two very simple ingredients, pigment and paraffin wax. Pigments give crayons their color, and paraffin wax holds the color together in a shape that's easy to draw with. In fact, the name Crayola comes from the French word cray, which means stick of color, and ola, from the word oleaginous, which means oily, because paraffin wax is made from oil. Let's start with the paraffin wax. It comes to Crayola in big railroad cars like these. The train cars are heated to keep the wax warm and liquefied. The wax is loaded into these huge tanks outside of the plant, and then it's piped inside. Now, let's go inside to see what happens when the wax is mixed with the pigment. Today, we're making a totally radical shade, laser lemon. Check out this petal. The temperature of the crayon mixture is 240 degrees, so I'm not gonna get any closer or I might melt. Whoa! Look at that hot laser lemon color. It's supercharged. Next, the crayon molder pours the wax onto a molding table. There are 2,400 holes in the table that fill up with the mixture to form the crayons. They'll cool down and chill out in about four minutes. We call this the flatbed mold because it's long and flat, like a bed. We make crayons another way, too, on a rotary molding table, which is more automated. Automated means that machines do more of the work. Both make great crayons, but because I was made on a flatbed mold, I'm showing you this way. Besides, either way you mold them, the crayons always come out crantastic. Now, once the crayons are cool, excess wax is scraped off and later reused. Then, a crayon collector is put on top of the mold. Next, the molder presses a button that pushes the crayons into the collector. Watch closely as the brand new crayons are pushed up. Bet you've never seen that many crayons before. The crayon maker then takes the collector to a table where he checks to see if any of the crayons are chipped or broken. Crayons that aren't perfect are recycled and molded all over again. After being inspected, every crayon gets a label to show what color it is. The labels wrap around twice to make the crayons extra strong. Now, from our rainbow of colors, crayon packers start filling the boxes of Crayola crayons. Here in the plant, we make boxes of 6, 8, 16, 24, 32, 48, 64 crayons, and <gasps> even a 96 crayon box. But the 64 box is the most famous. So let's check out how it's made. Here, the crayons are loaded into a machine called a collator that puts the crayons into groups of different colors. <laughs> wow, look at all those colors. They're rainbow-rific. Then, those crayons get pushed nice and snug into a cardboard sleeve. The crayons travel down a conveyor belt on their way to be put into boxes. Have a nice trip. You know, when I was born, there were only eight colors. Now, there's over a hundred to pick from. But the colors used the most come from the original eight. Red, like me, and black, because lots of kids like to outline their pictures in black. Finally, a machine pushes the sleeves into the boxes and inserts a crayon sharpener. And this is just the beginning of the journey for these newborn crayons. From here, they'll be sent to stores and schools all over the world. Wow, Tip, that was a totally cool and colorful report. Thanks a lot. No problem. You two stay sharp and color me out of here. <laughs>